be presenting in front of you all about Meshri today. First of all, I would like to thank KCD Chennai for giving me this great opportunity. Um, so basically, my presentation would be about giving an overview of Meshri, which is a cloud native manager and a CNCF project. So, so quick introduction about myself. I am Pranav Singh. I am from Layer 5 community. I am being around the community for almost two years now. Um, I do all kinds of open source contributions at, in the Meshri's ecosystem. And last year, I also did an LFX internship at Layer 5. And in case you'd like to know more about me or want to see my work, do check out my social handles. And you can check out my GitHub, Twitter, or Layer, Layer 5 community profile. So moving forward, um, personally, I like to understand the features of a project only when I first understand the architecture. So first, let's talk about that. So on a high-level overview, Meshri architecture, we would be, so Meshri as a tool supports a number of different deployment scenarios. Um, so you can deploy Meshri either in a Dockerized environment or in a Kubernetes environment. No matter which deployment scenario you use, Meshri auto detects Kubernetes config, or you can always um, pass your pre always pass your um, special co configuration either through CLI or the UI. So once Meshri detects a kube config, it what it does is that it deploys your custom controllers onto each of the detected Kubernetes clusters through the kube config. And once it does that, like one of the which so Meshri de server deploys Meshri operator. The responsibility of Meshri operator is to manage the lifecycle of other two custom controllers, that is MeshSync as well as Meshri broker. The role of MeshSync is to fingerprint and determine resources in your cluster. And the role of Meshri broker is to send those discovered data from MeshSync to Meshri server. Basically, Meshri broker is an implementation of NATS, which is also a separate CNCF project. You can, you can read more in depth about that in the documentation of Meshri. Um, but once Meshri server receives all the data discovered by MeshSync, what it does is that it saves all that data into its local SQLite database, which helps in later, um, later retrieval of data for Meshri UI and other functionalities. So Meshri also have a first class integration with Prometheus and Grafana, which means like all your already running Prometheus and Grafana in your Kubernetes clusters are auto discovered. That means like Meshri UI will prompt you to connect to them. They will auto detect the URLs. And once you connect to it, uh, Meshri will actually um, auto ingest all your already configured Grafana charts in, onto the Meshri UI. So you can see all the observability which you are already seeing in other, uh, in other of your tools. So, Couple of other features of Meshri is like it helps you manage Kubernetes lifecycle, your service message lifecycle, as well as your applications. So in case um, you don't know, you can ingest all your Helm charts, your Docker Compose application, as well as your standard Kubernetes manifest directly from Meshri UI. You can import them through the mo through a UI and, and also through CLI. Um, moreover, Meshri also supports continuous optimization through its performance management side, which, like earlier, we were discussing how difficult it is to perform, do performance management in one of the earlier, um, earlier presentation today. So basically, Meshri as of today supports three load generators, um, which are WRK2, Fortio, and Nighthawk. So based on your needs, you can use any one of them for your use case. Um, next is the low code visual configuration, which we would be seeing in a minute in my demo. And next is the service catalog, which is basically um, a public facing catalog on which you can um, publish your designs, your infrastructure design to the community where you can get feedback on your designs and you can share your designs with others so that others can also use, provide you feedback. Your work would be appreciated. And next is about integrations. Meshri as of today support 200 plus integration with different projects across the CNCF, pro CNCF landscape as well as other open source projects. So in case you'd like to know more about the integration and read e about each of them, make sure you check out meshri.io slash integrations. And next is about the Meshri catalog. So Meshri catalog, if you'd like to see, you can go to meshri.io slash catalog. And it's a, as of today, it supports Wasm filters and designs, or you can also know, also known as patterns. So basically, patterns are a representation of your infrastructure in a codified way. So you can not only publish them on the catalog, you can also save in your Git repositories and version them. And Wasm filters is a hot topic, if you don't know. Like, it's a great way of using them through Meshri. And now quickly, I'll show the demo. OK. 
So currently we are seeing the Meshri's dashboard, which basically gives you a high-level overview of different stuff which is either discovered by Meshri server or registered by Meshri server. So currently we can see in the workloads there are different Kubernetes resources discovered under different across different namespace connected to Meshri server. Um, then we can also see mesh model categories and constructs. Um, basically, so a little bit overview of mesh model is like it's a different way of representing applications which can be used as an integration with Meshri. So if you know about OAM, OAM is Open Application Model, which is a way of defining your application in a platform agnostic way. It's very similar to that, but it's like OAM on steroids. You can, you can, not, only, um, you can not only describe your application, but you can also describe the policies as well as the res um, um, relationship which would be used for those applications. So, so now in the set settings area, we can see different Kubernetes clusters connected to my specific playground deployment. Um, so here you can um, see the status of your Kubernetes cluster. You can do different stuff with, um, you can check the connectivity of the Kubernetes cluster. You can also see the state of the custom controllers or measure whether they're healthy or not. So that's quite helpful. Now we would be seeing, um, now we'll be seeing a visual way of doing stuff in Meshri through a plugin of Meshri, which is MeshMap. So currently, it's about two modes, that is designer and visualizer. In visualizer, it's a read-only way of discovering, read-only way of seeing your Kubernetes cluster. So for today's demo, we would be seeing um, just, we would be focusing one of the cluster that is Kubernetes. And we would be, f like, it helps you, you can filter the resources based on your need to increase or decrease your views. So we have filtered on namespace, deployment, and pod. And we are s currently seeing just Meshri and KCD namespace. So you can see currently KCD namespace is not available, but we'll quickly deploy that through the designer mode. Um, designer mode basically helps you to um, visually configure your infrastructure. And I'll skip quickly to show the important stuff. So I would be like dragging and dropping namespace onto my canvas. I would be giving the name of the namespace, KCD namespace. And then I would be dragging and dropping deployment. And and I would be filling a couple of standard stuff, like the name of the deployment, KCD deploy, the namespace, KCD namespace, which is auto-filled. Um, quickly, I'd look, like to give an overview. Like whenever I um, deployed, whenever I dragged the de deployment onto the namespace, the name of the namespace got auto-filled. How it does that is because internally Meshri also integrates with OPA. Meshri internally have an OPA integrate OPA evaluation engine. What it does is that it actually evaluates relationship between different components on the canvas. So currently there is a hierarchical relationship that got evaluated by OPA, and it determined the names. It it allowed the deployment to be a child of the namespace, which is a separate component. So it, then the namespace value got auto filled. So now I would be just filling the labels for specific ports. Labels are app, and the value would be KCD app. Similarly, the label for the ports. Then I would be configuring the container, that is, name would be Nginx latest. Image would be Nginx latest. Application name would, container name would be KCD app. Then the port, standard port, port 80. Um, And you can also see that on the left hand side, number of people are collaborating on their designs. So the best part is that a number of people can collaborate in the same design, and you can share your design with others as well. Like currently, you can share your design with any number of people. You can write their email address. Once you click on the publish button, what it will do is that internally, Meshri will send an email to the specific people who you specify, and then they will receive an e um, in the content of the email is like publicly available URL on which you, they can open the design and they can start contributing with you onto your design. Okay. Next is that we'll deploy, I'll just quickly go over this. Then we will be deploying this specific design onto a cluster. So as you can see, currently, um, we can check different clusters onto which we would like to deploy this specific design. You can check one, one Kubernetes cluster or many based on your requirement. And you can also see that this, what the deployment model does is that it also dry runs this specific design beforehand. So how it's helpful is that, for example, 
even before you deploy a design, you would be knowing whether that design would be deployable or not in the infrastructure. It will can cause any problems or not. So it's quite helpful in, when you're um, debugging in your production environments. So currently, I quickly deploy it in Kubernetes cluster. By the way, don't get confused. The name of the cluster itself is Kubernetes. So in case you're wondering why I'm calling it. So as you can see, once I came back to my visualizer mode, I can see the exact same namespace that I um, defined in my designer. The name of the deployment is also same. And inside, like as you can see, um, inside of the deployment, there are two pods. Inside of each pod, there is one container. And the configuration is exactly what I did in my designer mode. And we'll now quickly, a couple of quick items is that you can also start up an SSH terminal directly from here. Or you can also stream logs for any of your containers from here, so you don't have to go outside. You can also do connect to your metrics and see directly here. Like you can see your metrics as well coming from either the nodes or the containers. Um, okay. So now we'll just undeploy and go back to our final slide. So once you undeploy, um, you'll go back to the visualizer and realize that the design does your specific deployment does not exist and it's got um, deleted from your cluster. So just last slide I have. Can we switch just one slide? Yeah. So in case all this was, actually all this which I just showed was just a 10% of machinery can do. It can do a lot more things. But considering the time constraint, we would be moving forward. So in case you liked all this and you want to contribute to the project, do join the Layer 5 community. Um, you can join the Slack channel where everybody would be very welcoming to you and you will actually make new friends. Um, you can join, check out the beginner's guide which will help you to get started to, to understand which tech stack you should be knowing and how you should be going about it. You can also um, connect to any of the meshmates, schedule a call with them, they will help you get started instantly. Um, you can, if you want to take a screenshot, this is the best slide, do take a, click a picture of that. So you'll give, have an action item after the presentation. And yeah, that's the final slide. That is like, Meshri is also the number one LFX pro pro project under the LFX mentorship program. And yeah, in case you have not started using Playground, then do check out play.meshri.io and start using it. Um, it was actually unveiled in the recent KubeCon EU um, 2023 at, by the CNCF Tax Working Group. So in case you missed out. And also do check out Meshri's GitHub. Um, Twitter handle, LinkedIn, Slack, YouTube channel, as well as discuss forums so that you don't miss out on the important information. So that's it. Um, hopefully all that was um, intriguing and you, don't go, you didn't get bored. So thank you for listening here and bearing with me. Thank you.